my father, um, I understand, told me from the age uh, of one and maybe, maybe from the before then that I was going to be a doctor. So as an only child, that was in my mind and I never thought of anything else. I just knew I was going to go to medical school and it's the truth. And so I continued. But in my college days, I began to be very, very active and I was a BMOC, big men on campus. I was president of the student body, president of the YMCA elected as a Jew, uh, president of my fraternity, vice president uh, and, and varsity debater, um, um, business manager uh, of the theatrical group and then played the lead in our town, the stage manager role, um, business manager of the Pitt News. I was a full-time uh, person running Pitt rather than but anyway, so then that thought remained with me as I came to realize that I liked that kind of intermingling and so on, and um, began to think about law because people thought that I definitely was a pre-law student because of all that involvement. And in my junior year, I contacted the American Medical Association and asked them for advice. They put me in touch with a doctor lawyer, a wonderful guy who invited me to attend, as it turned out, fortuitously, the first biannual meeting of the AMA and the ABA, which was taking place in New York. So I drove up to New York, met with him. He graciously took some time from an extremely busy schedule and gave me an idea for the first time of, uh, of a realistic nature as to what legal medicine was all about. Prior to that time, it went everywhere from you'll be nothing, you'll be uh, neither fish nor fowl, to oh, you'll become a millionaire overnight. <laughs> so uh, I really knew nothing about the field. And he straightened me out. Then, once I made that decision to become a lawyer, then I realized I did not want to be just a general practitioner. I wanted to have a specialty in medicine that related to law. And it quickly became apparent that the specialty that is most frequently and meaningfully involved is forensic pathology. Just think about it, you know, what you do. You deal with all these cases, suicide, homicide, accident, and so on. That's what it's all about. And so I made up my mind. And, and with that, when I um, finished my internship, I applied for pathology residency, and I asked the chief uh, at the VA University Hospital if I could also go to law school. I had been accepted at Pitt. I also had been accepted at Harvard and Yale Law School, something I'm very, very proud of with scholarships because I was a doctor and they were delighted and I really bombed that um, LSAT, the, the law test. I, I don't know, I did go about 98 and a half percentile. So, but I, 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 I put together a package in Pittsburgh. First of all, I wanted to stay in Pittsburgh, only child with my mother and father. And secondly, then I got the program uh, that I wanted. I was able to go to law school at the University of Pittsburgh as a full-time student simultaneously with doing a residency in pathology at the VA hospital. As long as they, I did my work, they told me, um, then was okay. 